Jedi human, I understand that I must now detonate the explosives to destroy this chamber. Droids of all designs have specific restrictions hard-coded within their behavioral cores. One of these restrictions is that they cannot self-terminate. However, due to a number of modifications within my behavioral core, I am willing and able to share the singular fate with the structure situated around me. To allow you to position yourself outside of the blast radius, I will deliver a countdown of 5.0 seconds before I detonate the explosives. I assume this will allow you to escape before you are disintegrated. If I may, Jedi human, I have one last query. You have decommissioned many droids before. Is there a place in the galaxy where we go when our cores become deactivated? Permanently? Perhaps a rust-free haven for droids? Where we are permitted to choose our own lot in life? Then, as the Orion mechanic would say, I hope such a place exists. I hope I manage to find my way there. And I hope I will enjoy it there. Goodbye, Jedi human. You have 5.0 seconds remaining. You have 4.0 seconds remaining. You have 3.0 seconds I do not need lessons in combat from you. The techniques you use even now are derived from my teachings. Teachings that you are not worthy to practice. I can defeat you. I will defeat you. I swore a promise to deliver justice to the one who you abandoned, and I intend to keep that promise. The Arcanian? He was nothing more than a failed Padawan. He had nothing to offer you, nothing to teach you. It would be a waste of your efforts to seek vengeance for one so unworthy. 
Kitona na Bonsha. wasn't strong enough to avenge her, to deliver her justice. I have failed myself. I have failed her. Her name was Shana May. She was a young child who I had rescued from a life of slavery on Sliheron. I quickly recognized her potential in the Force, and so brought her into the Jedi Order as my first and only apprentice. Always was she eager to learn, devouring any knowledge that I imparted to her. She quickly grew into a formidable Jedi and a formidable woman. It is said that Jedi embrace serenity as a way of life, yet for we Ichani it is battle that lay at the heart of our beliefs and it was battle that called to her as the Mandalorian Wars ravaged a weakened galaxy. Driven by a sense of justice and integrity, she became a strong supporter of Revan's policy of Jedi intervention into the war. But she opened her heart to this calling without considering the consequences. She was manipulated by the one she followed and then transformed from an individual into a tool of war without an identity to call her own. She was Shana May, no longer. She abandoned me. She had forgotten the child on Sliheron. Even when you at last learned of the truth behind your march to war and the sacrifice of identity which later followed, you still chose Revan over me. Why? Is Revan's grip over you still that strong? Does his manipulation still run that deep? Hachu apanki, jishawa anibongka sha chona si ichua byongbo joni. You didn't join the Mandalorian Wars and become a Sith out of choice. It was because of Revan's manipulations. You must accept that we are not the ones at fault here, as I have. No! From the very beginning it was Revan! It was Revan! The truth. You are wrong. You never failed as my apprentice. It was I who failed as your teacher. I just couldn't bring myself to accept it and instead allowed my pursuit of this false vengeance to consume me, to shape me into this creature of hate. Jedi Master, Ichani Battle Master, I do not deserve such titles. No, not strength. These are just the revelations of a broken man, all too willing to cast the blame on others, yet keeping none for himself. At Terrace, it was the pursuit of vengeance that revived me, healed me, and granted a purpose to devote existence towards. Without it, I see now there is little left for me here. So then, Shadow, I ask of you, Adhere to your master's will. Kill me. Kill me now. Then as Shana May, the Jedi, the child on Sliheron, do your master one final duty and end his corrupted life forever. Hachu apanki, jishawa anibong ka sha chona si ichua byongbo joni. 
identity. It seems in these trying times its true meaning has become lost to me. Randi i chawa tongbola Johnny Gu, mucha shakapaka. China pala mule tong ki ba non tontek. Tanga book sha um nag nong. Hachu a punky, ji shawa a nibung ka sha, chona si, ichu a young bo Johnny. Kobayashi, that one is stronger than I had thought. He still lives, if only barely. Selima Wanga Kunbi King! Yes, he is still alive. He has not allowed death to claim him yet, and clings to life out of the single hope that he will see you again. Shachika Don Mulaka Watayumaka Wamahona Nek. Since Terrace, I have focused all my efforts on seeking a means to destroy. I have since forgotten what it feels like to concentrate my thoughts on restoration. It will be difficult, I think, but I will be stronger for it. Ni bajoni your luck wish. Matilda the child on Slee Heron, I was once your teacher. Now you are mine. A life without identity is no life worth living. So I will use what life I have left to heal Kobayashi. I do not do this to seek your forgiveness. See this only as a gift. From the last remnants of your old life to the new one that awaits you. Kipuna! Bona na kichu! No, there is no more time for words. Every second I delay, Kobayashi comes closer to death. Bring him before me. I will do this now. This technique, I do not know for certain if it will be successful. Kobayashi may be too close to death. Dong abuk shami no nok. Hope. We shall see if it favors you, and if it favors him. Kun kili no ba. Ni bajoni yo luck wish. Darius, a name I haven't heard from you in a long time. Not since you were a child. When I was a boy, I once heard any Johnny proverb. Death smiles at us all. All a man can do is smile back. At least... At least I have found a reason to smile. Are you enjoying the view? I don't know if it's the near-death experience talking, but there is a tranquility here that is absent on the rest of Korriban. I hadn't noticed it until now. Hachu apanki, jishawa anibung ka sha chona si ichua byongbo joni. And Solomon too had a part to play. He chose to save the life of another at the expense of his own. I'm sure the Force took that as a cue to work its magic and rid this place of darkness, even if only for a time. Randi i chawa tongbola Johnny Koo. 
That sounds like a tough battle, but I guess that Chani were always a little crazy when it came to war. Mucho shaka paka. I believe Mechanique is close to completing his scan. It shouldn't be long now before we find it. So, are you ready, Shana Mei? Hachu apanki, jishawa anibun ka sha chona si ichua byongbo joni. Oh, so it's like that, is it? Then what do you want to be called? Kobayashi's already taken, if that's what you were thinking. Dong abuk shami no nok. Yami <laughs> I guess that leaves me. Although, I hope it doesn't turn me into the whining, moaning piece of bantha fodder that you are, Mechanique. I'm just too vibrant a person to become that monster. Oh, sure, for you maybe. Don't you forget, the only reason you're captain is because everyone else on the ship was a corpse.
Hello again. Have you found any evidence on the residential level that would be able to prove your claim? Great! Now I can convince the other miners of the truth! I thank you for your help. Here are the credits I promised. Now if you'll excuse me, I must speak with the other miners. Good day. Zer
Why do you bother me? I don't have anything for you. Leave me alone! What? An assassin? You will never defeat me! Jibedwa nani bobo 